Welcome to Test of Faith. We are starting off with the Orcs. Do we go Grunts or my Shaman Witch Doctors? Witch Doctor value always very high. Now, I have five mana left. Hmm. One Tauren, maybe. And then go. Good luck versus air levels. You seek me help? Passing oh, no. But the Tauren can tank. He's got a high health pool, so it's going to benefit a lot from healing ward. I don't think I can put a sentry ward outside. Well, maybe I can. Oh, no. No, you can't. Before I get those set up early, whilst I probably don't need the... Uh, don't need the uh, healing wards just yet. There we go. 50 mana, restart, yep. Well, my style is always just to find out through trying, you know? Torrin just happily smashing those to pieces. Take no more than 400 pillar damage. Oh, that's not too bad. I can certainly probably handle that. You don't get an option, that's the which difficulty you start off on the weekly objective. So, you can take an easy... Well, I don't know if they're always the same now. They're always like medium difficulty. Maybe that's the change. Raider, Naga, Myrmidon. Let's take the Naga. It might encourage more Naga units. Cool. Cool. I'm not quite sure how I'm hotkeying these guys yet. Hard to change the team colors. Because at the moment, these guys are blending in. Torin can just deal with the Sork. You can deal with this guy. We've got mana building up. We've got the benefit of the Divine Encouragement, because we're close to the pillar. But yeah, it would be green, then yellow, and then maybe orange or red. So there's three, so it's either orange or red, in terms of difficulty. And the reward would be better for it. I'll let the Witch Doctor take some hits here, so he can mitigate some hits. Holy War, remember to only upgrade gold to 19 and not 20, or you lose bonus gold. Oh. So all those YouTube comments that were giving me a hard time because of my greed. I was actually having not just a hard time because of the actions of going greedy, but also because it was literally actually bugged. And I was getting less gold at 20 upgrades on the income than staying at 19. I played on ultra hard mode. Damn straight I did. And I didn't get any credit for it whatsoever. Classic story of my life. Let's do Witch Doctor and a heal. Well, he's got full mana, so I'm just going to blow the uh, healing ward now. I'm going to swap those two. Because I expect more damage from the top than from underneath. But there's not necessarily any truth to that. It's just how I was looking at it. Not trying too hard to micro here, just generally speaking, concentrating more on position than micro. The Tauren can come down here now because I've moved the Witch Doctor to the left. Little things like that will make a difference. But I forgot about the spiders popping up, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit longer. Not very friendly creeps to fight against, that's for sure. It's almost like that healing ward did nothing. Troll race got an exploit. Mana regen from one of the units work on builder. Uh, yeah, I mean, th the concept of the holy war map is definitely better than the actual execution of the map. Shaman. Or Shaman Adept training. I don't even know. I figure I'd get more random stuff type units. But, um... Eh... Take the shaman, screw it, see what happens. I don't know. I don't think any of that was particularly exciting, so I'm not too worried. 
Sentry wards are still going for another yes. five minutes, maybe? I don't know. Yes, Tauren will be better on the left-hand yes. side. Actually, be better first as both of those. And you can come against that. And then I'm going to slowly pull this guy over. So I can have both the fiends next to each other. And then start pulverizing on top of both of them. If the procs actually occur. Hello. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Yay. Support the channel. Hooray. This guy's got like full mana. Sacrifice all units to summon the RP Queen. The Queen of the RPs. Sludge Fling is pretty good actually. But that's going to put me over the food cart. I always like to get food. But unfortunately I didn't have an option to get food on this one. Might just take the resistance skin. Because I really, literally don't care about any of this. Queen of the RPs. There's a lot of trash. Torrent would be quite good against that. Let's swap their position. Horrible path in there. You were supposed to go more to the right, but never mind. Alright, let's look at armor types. These guys do magic damage, so they'll do more damage against um, heavy armor. How now, brown cow? Naga rewards next day and plus one food. Let's take it. Sentry wards are still going. I like to see it. I guess we're at full mana again, so... Mm-hmm. Torn. Gotta be that annoying Huntress can bounce. So I'm gonna try to pull us all close. I don't think she can bounce onto the healing ward. She would have done it, she would have done it by now. I'm gonna get a bit closer just to... Oh no, it goes into a unit. Interesting that, isn't it? How they programmed it so it doesn't actually prop onto a healing ward. I took four damage at some point. Mm, Dragon Turtle's good. It is a Naga. Naga Siren Adept. Ah, uh, I always like taking that one. But I'm going to try to see if I can push the Naga agenda. There's our boss. Should be able to handle that relatively easily with what we got. He's got one more armor, so 4% less damage taken if he's going to take it. But remember, this guy's got full health and they've got natural regen, so you want to take a bit of damage on him. Share the load. Abomination, Torrin, food supply, yes. Yes. Kind of want to. Hmm. Right. Modifier. 30% enemies spawn debuff. Debuffed units are dispelled at the end of the day. This is for me. Forces gain 26% chance to be offered in pair. Restoration rewards become 45% more potent. That's interesting in the late game just to stay alive, pretty much. I think the enemies being debuffed, though, is a huge one. Alright. I don't technically need to put new wards out, but he's at full mana anyway, so... There's one. I think the debuff option is for the rest of the game, but I'm not 100% sure. The conviction in the guy's voice. Receive two new researchers that are not tied to your units. And 400 mana. 
Sentry Ward placed. Draniya creature attack. Yep, that'll do. Are there two food supply or even the one? But it is what it is. If you keep taking the Naga rewards, though, you do actually have the option. I think creature attacks for undead, so less incentivized on that. Oh god, I forgot this map spawns siege. It spawn was Shadow Strike though. They should all do that. Stupid siege. Siege is such BS in this. It really is. I hate siege so much. It's just so boring to fight against siege. I want to put a healing wall down, but the Tauren won't benefit from it, so I have to wait. Healing Ward should do the trick here. So we've got Sentry, we've got Sentry. You're on full health. I'm mana, sorry. Don't have much in the way of DPS though, obviously. Ah. Hmm. Nothing too super exciting there. I'll take the Coral Blades, because that is an upgrade for Naga. You seek me help? Unfortunately, I won't get the benefit here, because uh, I actually technically have a Naga as part of my troops. Just kite one of them, fortunately. Why not Dragon Turtle? Did I? Probably because I'm racist or something. Uh, I guess I'd better take the long rifles because gotta crack on. Oh, siege! Every time I see the siege is spawned, I just feel deflated and hate this. Sucks. It sucks. We're gonna deal with that first. Jesus, crikey, matey. Interesting parking. It takes me forever to kill these bloody units. I should really kill the priest, but at this point it's easier just to focus the Sork with a Sly. Oh. Okay, Benny. Glad you're having a good time. The, uh... Obelisk. It's fake. It's not real. Flare. Doom Guard is funny, right? I guess it's a perma Doom Guard. It's not like a summon Doom Guard. It wouldn't be worth doing it, but at the same time it kind of is. Because it's like a super unit, and then you build back units again. If that makes sense. But I've got a good combo, so I'm going to stick with what I've got. But technically, it's like... It's got like 50 chaos damage, a doom guard. And pretty consistent in the bunch of spells it can cast. I think it can hit air as well, actually. So it is kind of a super unit in a way. This guy's busy healing himself with the Parasite. I got one Parasite there.
perma following as opposed to not perma following where you follow and then just unfollow. I thought it was going to say Naga units again. Oh, that's a shame, because those all suck. Okay, I could re-roll the options, which would cost me one of those. That does, no, that does nothing anyway. Oh, the healing from that is pathetic. Human rewards next day. Ah. Ah. Food supply then, I guess. I am not excited though, I must say. Yes, War Chiefs. Oh no. Why should I? I am able to help. Yes. I am able to direct. Put whole position and then swap it swap it over to stop when they get closer. So they don't run away too far from the middle. This guy does some pumping damage. 35 to 53. Should really focus him, but the grunt's almost dead anyway. He does more than me. They get pretty significant damage upgrade. This is the cheeky Naga. Ah, we've got to take the food supply, because the rest of that sucks anyway. Sentry wards are popping down. One of those is hexed. Let's get ready to... Oh, I see. Get wrecked. I suppose I'll do another healing ward. I was. Hmm. Sentry ward. Witch Doctor. Really good. It's probably worth taking a Witch Doctor again. Although I kind of wanted the Coral Scales to upgrade the Naga units because I might just transition to Nagas anyway, eventually. Research is tied to your units become muted for the enemy. So just get every single research and then the enemy get none. Could be one of the strongest in the late game, but you'll never get that far. Sacrifice units gain 55% chance to be unaffected. That's the definite pick. Debuff units of the spell. Restore. Yeah, yeah. That's like the more interesting pick. The gamble. Luckily, I haven't had to deal with too much air at the moment, because I definitely won't be too good against that. Sentry ward out. Oh. Well, I did that accidentally. Yeah, speaking of which, got Chimera. Could get the Orb of Phenom. At least I've got a way to hit air. So that's probably worth it. Oh, piss off. No one cares. No one likes you. Let's 
still get some of that healing ward value. Necromancer dying sounds a little bit like a witch doctor, actually. Snare, there it is. I gotta remember to actually do that. Lol. You seek me help? Yes. How may I serve? Direct me. I hear the summons. Right here, Lord. Bring it on. You seek me help? Hey, cut it out. I could have got another one there, but I had to concentrate on this guy not dying. Naga Siren. little baby parasites. Uh, sacrifice five random units to summon Revenant of the Depths. I'm pretty sure that ba that guy's a fucking badass, Revenant of the Depths. I'm going to probably take that option, in all honesty. Even... Yeah, nice. This guy's a fucking badass. He's one of the biggest chads in the game. too good there. I was considering a night elf one just because it had plus one food. Oh, it's... Yo. Damn it, that was too slow. Aye! supply we take this of course Naga Siren Master Train is pretty damn good but it's a shame it's on a free food My song is yours. Hey, 
Right. Got those two against him so they can potentially bash him because he's a nasty piece of work. Oh, you little bitch. He's got an insta -gib. Yeah, that seems like a fair one to go up against, doesn't it? Sacred Pillar repairs by 18% on data to no damage. That seems like a good fucking one, to be honest. Uh, random rune every week. 70% uh, chance to receive one food supply upon losing. Yeah. Those, that one's good. Up to four researchers, but there's billions of researchers. So I'll take the heal on the pillar. I haven't put any new sentry wards down, actually. What? Nice group of units here. Reminder to like the video if you like this group of units. You seek me help? Brigand. That's like the trash footman equivalent of the the bandits, really, I think. Unless he's like the level 5 version, because it seems a bit weak otherwise. They're all pretty bad, these choices, so you could always re-roll... It's the ranged one. Is it? I thought that's the ass assin. Forest Troll Trapper. Unholy. Wow, these are all terrible. I just have to take the plus one food supply, I think. I mean, that could give him a bunch of mana, but I deliberately haven't spent all of his mana to save it. Forest Troll Trapper is like an okay-ish unit, but it's just kind of whatever. It'll get killed, and then I'll lose a point or whatever. Oh, man. I'll take the food supply. Tell me I oh, God. Stupid siege. Just set that water elemental out on it. Screw it. We're under Screw that siege. Otherwise, this should be fine. Nice. Thank you. They're treating the pillar as actual unit. Interesting. Spend no more than... Oh. I already just noticed that. Ooh. Just as I was going for the Witch Doctor as well. I should probably still take it, to be honest with you. The plus five armor is pretty darn nice, i got to say. The Witch Doctor is like a super MVP. Really, really, really good. Plus the heal. But this is always... You can never guarantee how long you're going to hold on to these units. And they might always get replaced by other things. So things like items can always continue. Whereas units don't necessarily... Oh, 
I lost the Naga Siren. She must have got zapped. Not me. Yeah, it is what it is. Would you consider trying to fall random forces run? It's painful enough for me to play this as it is. Let alone trying to do some gimmicky trash build. You seek me help? 30%. I don't think you guys necessarily always realize how exhausting it is to play this map. Reroll. I like the reroll option there. You could take this just to give a nice chunk of health back. And I don't have to use a healing ward. I mean, I will still do it, but I want to keep that. 1396 mana is pretty, quite a lot, to be honest. Hmm, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. Those skeletal mages are pretty nasty. Jesus. He almost went down, didn't he? I'm gonna have to burn some mana there. Felt like I was really taking some damage here. be gone. Coral scales. Sacrifice all units to summon Salamander. It's all units though. It's a lot. Because it could be the big guy that I've already got. Ring regeneration is nice. Food supply is nice. Let's take the f ring. Yeah. I'm going to get one sentry ward. Sorry. I'll probably just get a ward on mental as well soon. See, he's called Assassin. Those guys, they pump some damage. Could just take the healing. It's all pretty bad. What you be craving? What? Right away. We're under attack. Oh, it's you. It's attacking my sentry ward. Sentry ward is tanking. Jesus. Sweet Lord, baby Jesus. Brigand is level 2 range assassin with no poison. Ah, oh, I see. Well, off we go. Big old tanky, what you big, big old tanky boy. Jeez, you want to back that truck up, mate? Switch doctors. Mm. 
Look at the range on this guy. Mountain Giant, Naga Siren. Nothing particularly super good there, but Naga Siren probably, I guess. Or the food supply. Newly obtained units spawn buffed. Random forces gain. Yeah, consecutive rerolls do not increase. I thought you could only reroll once anyway. My guardian recovers spent restore charges when dies. They all suck. So. Probably that one, although I don't tend to go for random forces, but don't be afraid. Do not receive new forces worth more than ten food supply. Easy. I am able to help. My song is yours. No one likes mana burn. That's a team kill there. Naga rewards next day. dry closer to the middle so it doesn't go on the water mentals. Dragon. <gasps> right away. Not always easy to keep that bad boy alive, right though. My record on this map. I mean, it's objective because it's harder to get a good record nowadays on a map. So I don't know. Can't remember. You'd have to tell me. Mountain Giant's kind of tempting. It doesn't have the upgrades though to tank, so it's not really any use. Ah, uh, mana is pretty good actually. Piss off. Hey, My song is yours. Ah, you stole my ward. Man. 
Which doctor? This doctor. Oh, I see. Sacrifice six random units to summon a storm worm. That's a big green lizard. It's a hell of a lot to lose for that, though. Almost tempting to go for it, though. Just in case I don't actually have to sacrifice units, but I think that's a that's too that's not that's not good enough. You seek me help. I hear the summons. You seek me help right away. Just in case there's invis. Get rid of the spider because it summons a bunch of units. I'm getting that grain of sand in my mouse again. Makes it hard to move. Probably should take that. Even if it sucks now. Only 7%. How may I Bring it on. I will honor. We're under attack! See, these must have started hexed or something, because they came out of the gate slower. Don't want them debuffing me too much. Seems the Naga Siren has quite a lot of uh, priority for the enemy to hit. Big lads, big boys. Next day. That's always sucky. I'll take the orb of corruption. Divine Guardian recovers spent restore charges. Consecutive rerolls do not increase. Thirty percent chance. They're all bad. I'll just take the food. For when I lose units, which don't happen often, but they will happen. Receive new forces worth at least seven food. Yeah, I've got to get a lot of food supply then. I might have to deliberately lose a unit to be honest to actually achieve that. Unless I just... Mm, only one food supply. Well, I'll have to take it. Lol. To get seven food supply, that's going to be really tough to do. My song is yours. I hear the song. You seek me, right? 
Hey, sailor. I am able to help. My song is yours. We're under attack! This all adds up. Apart from that witch doctor getting his ass kicked by the CG in it. Didn't pay attention to that. Spend resource charges to summon almost may as well. Unless you just keep re-rolling for better food. Naga Royal Guard. That's huge. Excuse me? One food supply, sacrifice two random units to summon a Wendigo Shaman. Kaga's pipe is really good, but I can't afford to take the food supply here. You seek me help? Kitson. Thank you very much there for the sab. I come to you now at a turn of tide. Naga Royal Guard, best looking WP3 unit. Well, it's not as good looking as the Naga Myrmidon. Naga Myrmidon's better because it looks cheekier. Plus one food supply. Mana is really good. Cause of attack plus 15 is nice. I'm just concentrating on getting this food thing done though. For now. For now. No! Fucking no! Bastard. Killed my fucking quarrel.
Also, I forgot the orb doesn't work properly. And uh, these units, so they don't hit air. Get the random forces. Yeah, let's just do it. Trash. Hmm. The fuck? They all got webbed at the same time. I wasn't sure how long that's going to last for, but it seems a long time. Damn. They are <laughs> they're useless in that net. Could do the sacrifice running unit at this point, but no necessary need. I'll take the food supply. Why have I surfaced? Huzzah. Kill two units within two seconds. It's red. Oh god, it's going to be quite hard with this many units. I have to like, deliberately lose some units here, I think. What the hell? Hmm. How the hell do I get this? I can't even tell which ones are mine or which ones are his. I'm going to lose units here because I'm too busy trying to get like the, the setup. Pretty bad, to be honest. There's too much unit, too many units to do this calculated correctly. worth trying to do this. It's going to be a lot of work to get that done. Disable enemy tech next day. Maybe. Just to make it easy just to kill them. Destroy is really good. Hmm. Come on, that attack went off so slow. I'm just losing so much here trying to do this. To get this done, I'm going to have to lose a large portion of my army. Problem is, is you think you're going to like get the last hit on the mob when you left one on like one health, and then your units go to swing at it, and they're like, oh. like that time it went better as the sword and footman died, but other times it's been like, what the fuck? Did you get AFK or something? Shit. Oh well. 
I can only do it on these anyway. Right, piss off. See, I'm not sure that counted, but he was so slow there to get his hit off there. Just gonna take that. They hate us because they ain't us. There's a lot of little units to do this on though, that's good. Quick. some units just to get sort of more clarity because the more units you got the more they're body blocking each other as well divine aids next day uh wraith is kind of cool i can steal a unit with that but i think it only goes up to level five kind of tempted for the wraith uh, i'll do the lion horn because it's just another aura I don't like this pillar the way it sort of body blocks a lot. So if you want to move a unit up or down, oh shit. I'm not going to concentrate at the moment, I'm just going to get that chimera out of the way. Can't fuck about with that very easily. Again, sort of like this body blocking that keeps happening. There's a lot of sort of body blocking that goes down. Tempted for that one as well. Sacrifice two running units to summon Elder Hydra. Holy shit. Is that Elder Hydra the big one though? It should be because it's Elder, but... I'm starting to wonder if it's like the spellcastery bluish one. That isn't the big, big one. I think that's Ancient Hydra. Is the big, big one. Yeah, I think it's Ancient. Elder Hydra is still good, but it's not Ancient Hydra. Right, I'm going to take the food supply, because fuck you. Oh, not the food supply, but yeah, whatever. Uh, shit, I went too fast again. See how long it took to kill her, come on. You like literally both on one health, and I tried to dish that out, but whatever. Hang on, what, what are we doing here? Why can't we hit this guy? I can't hit this guy for shit. Nothing hits this guy. Fuck. 
fuck off. Whatever. Fuck you. Like Ten hours to fucking kill it. For some reason, on the last couple of hits. Right, there you go. Destroy doesn't have the best attack speed. Deceiver. Is that the demon or something? Next level could be pretty brutal. You can get forced. Uh, random forces. I don't have much mana left on my characters or anything like that. It's the Acolyte with Curse. Mm. He can summon undead, can't he? Could do with some skeletons. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of in trouble here. I think I have to take something like random forces or deceiver. No, hold random forces in. What did I get? A dark fucking troll. Are you fucking kidding me? Piece of shit. Nope, you're dead. Another week. Snapdragon's cool. Everyone likes Snapdragon. He's a cool guy. Holy shit. All I got was free food supply. For like the amount of units I, <laughs> I lost trying to do that challenge. Kind of bonkers. Do not receive any unit belonging to the Naga race. It's a bit racist. Forces question mark. Well, if it's got the question mark, I assume it's going to have the extra level 7 unit with it. Nope. Because I don't think I've got that extra unit yet, and I had a 33% chance of that. Damn, I was quick. I already passed over the uh, plus 15. Doctor now, don't I? Everything's like super low. Oh, they snapped my dragon. You see that cheeky spawn there? Just deleted my dragon. Everything's so close to dead. I guess I'm near the end now. I think it was a pretty good run, all things considered. But this guy is getting fucking bullied. Holy crap. Actually have to use like a frostbolt on that shit. Oh, I've lost him, yeah. Holy crap. They got some real damage, man. It's insane how much damage these guys are popping out. 
Yeah, I've got what can you do? Just have to wait for him to regenerate enough for a C elemental. Whoa. The necromancers that really did a lot of damage there. Yeah, I know. I can get to the next day, but I don't know where I go from there. It would have to give me something like Ancient Hydra for me to stand a chance now. I feel like these units definitely do more damage than they do in melee. I don't think archers do 20 to 22 damage in melee. This is why it's a little bit... Do they do 20 to 22 damage in melee? If not, then Night Elf are even more overpowered than I thought they were. So, my brain gets a little bit mixed up on like the damage I'm taking. You could run for the items, I suppose. You're going to get slowed by the dryer, which is pretty shitty. I think I should get a water mental and then send the water mental on the dryer. Pick up the items with this guy. So many skeletons, Jesus. Necromancer, and I can finish. Fuck off. Well, tried. Apparently, a fucking Naga Royal Guard can't kill a Necromancer in a few hits. Holy shit. That should have been easy for the Naga Royal Guard, especially with some items on him. Yikes. Oh well. Test of faith. Another successful go. Yeah, I was surprised. I really thought he... I knew he was going to be like down to like one health, maybe. I didn't think he'd get killed from that, though. But Necromancers are really, really overpowered in this. Or from the enemy's perspective. <laughs>